and welcome folks. I've put this video together for those who are interested in using an Arduino WT588DU sound card as a standalone unit to run directly off a simple switch. Initially I started my project using a WT588D but was having some trouble with getting it to work and I found it rather tricky to get a simple straight answer from some of the Arduino gurus out there as some of them pretty much told me just do your own research. So I felt like doing this video to show folks of a similar electronics aptitude how to do it easily. Now the issue that I had with the WT588D was trying to program the sound card using the external programmer. I tried heaps of times to do it, but to no avail. Don't know why, maybe I just didn't program it correctly, maybe my sound cards were dodgy, maybe my programmer was defective, I don't know. But thankfully, one good soul from the Arduino and Genuino Projects Australia on Facebook suggested that instead I try using the WT588DU. U for USB because there's a USB port built onto the card. And he said, try this and you might have better luck with it because the ones without it can be temperamental as they were. So I did that and it worked. Thanks heaps. Now, I'm no expert with Arduino in any way, shape or form, and I only figured this out with the assistance of some folks who are way more knowledgeable on the subject than I am. So please don't ask me any technical questions about programming language or can it be done this way or can it be done that way because chances are I won't know, and all that'll happen is I'll get scared and hide. So this video is not showing you how to program the thing, however, I'm showing you how to hook this up and wire it up so the sound card will run on its own without any sort of external controllers or circuits or anything, just activated simply by an on-off switch. So keep in mind to program this card, you're going to need a USB cable with a standard fitting on one end and a Type B mini fitting on the other end, like this. Now these cards are designed to run off 5 volts, but in the application I'm using it for, I've got a 12 volt power source. So if you're going to be doing a similar thing and needing a higher voltage than 5 volts, you're going to need one of these regulators. This is an LM7805 regulator, and this is going to bring it down to 5 volts. So you'll have your regulator wired up this way with power going in on the left side and coming out on the right side with the ground in the middle. Anyway, this is how I wired up the sound card. So that's all you'll need to run this little thing once it's been programmed. Uh, then all you need to do is just put it in a little box like this thing here uh, and hook it up to whatever project you've got going. Anyway folks, I hope this video was able to help out someone who needed a hand. And in my next video, I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be using this little sound card for. Have fun, eh?